Hey YouTube, Skillin here. I decided to cover the opening plays of the Zonha with Messer. I've seen parts of this play commonly ignored and wanted to show the sequence exactly as recorded. As per 3V of The Art of Messer Fencing, CGM 582 by Johannes Le Kuchner. Then do it this way. When he strikes from above from his right side to your head, strike from your right side also from above angrily together to displace him then let simultaneously your point shoot forwards towards his face or the chest and simultaneously turn your messer against his so that the long edge stands above and the short edge is below this is similar to the zonhao zonot of the long sword in order to do this indes and keep threatening the opponent continuously it is important to execute the two actions fluidly the turning of the blade is necessary to unlock the blades of two sharp messers, and the completion of the step drives the thrust home. If he becomes aware of the point, wind again the point on his left side towards the face, so that always the long edge is above. You are attempting to collect his weak on your strong, and to displace it to the side. This is done in reaction to having your point driven off to the side with force, similar to the second Vinden in Longsword. However, if this should fail, if he becomes aware of the point, pull up the messer on the upper messer's blade against his messer and strike to him at the other side of the head. This is called the taking away on the messer. After you begin to do the second part, it is common for people to cock back their blade and try to force yours to the side. However, this yields the center line. And since they are actively pushing off to the side without their point aimed at you, you can take away on the messer. I believe this is a continuation of the play rather than simply a possible alternative because it makes sense and also, he writes later in 7R, Here the master teaches the taking away with the long messer and says, Directly to take away, etc. If you strike the Zon Hao, wind your messer against his one so that the long edge is standing above itself. Simultaneously wind again to your right side against his left side so that the long edge is below and the blunt one is above and thrust straight at his face. Simultaneously strike skillfully along the messer to his right side with the long edge to the head. Here is the first counter found on 4R. You should understand it this way. If he delivers the Zornhau with the Ort against you, strike to his hand on the wrist inside of his same hand. Because he has not pushed my messer off to the side as before, I am now vulnerable when performing the Vinden. And since he is on the line and I'm moving off the line, he has an opening to cut at my wrist. You can see that once he makes contact with my wrist, I would only continue to slice into my own wrist by resisting him further. Here is the second counter found on 4V. Then if he delivers the Zornhau Ort to you and wants to thrust your face, Lower your messer with straight arm and lower the point to his chest and push him well back and put the left leg well back. This is a counter common for messer when an opponent leaves the center line. You are already on the center line and the quickest way to strike him while keeping yourself safe is to thrust with the long point. You can see this works because he has a direct line to me while my arm is curved. Here is the entire sequence and the two counters uninterrupted. That covers the first sequence of the Zonha with Messer, and the two counters to the Zonot. I hope this is clear and helps you with your training.